In this video, I'm going to show you how to disassemble a GT35R turbo. This process is the same for the GT2554R all the way to the in-between sizes such as the 2860, 2871, 3071, 3076, and the GTX 3582R. You can put the turbine wheel in a vise if it's as damaged as this one and then remove the compressor nut. It is left hand thread so you will have to act like you're tightening it. Next you have to press the turbine shaft out of the bearing housing. Be sure to put a box under the whole center cartridge when you do this so that you do, do not lose any of the balls in this process. Next, you need to press off the inner race off of the turbine wheel. In order to do this, you need a bearing separator. Once we press off this sleeve, we can then assemble the cage back together. Next, you need to remove the pin that holds the cage in place. You can use a slide hammer and a threaded bolt to remove this pin or you could also just tap it out through the oil drain area. Now if you're working with a GT40 series or GT37 series you'll definitely need a slide hammer for this build. If you have a problem removing the bolts that hold down the seal plate, you can tap in a star bit rather than using the Allen keys. This will help it free up a little bit and it's a lot easier to remove and reinstall if you want to reuse those bolts. When putting the inner race back into the cage, you can use tape to hold the balls in place. Otherwise, just make sure that you are very careful if you don't. And also do this over a box so that in case you do drop some of the balls, they won't go very far. Or otherwise, you'll spend more time looking for the balls than doing the rebuild. Also, inspect the cage for any wear and check the clearance between the pin and the cage. If there's excess clearance between the pin and the cage, you can actually tap onto the cage a little bit to tighten it up around the pin. I will link to our rebuild kit in the description box and also all the parts that I will be using for this build, including the turbine shaft. And stay tuned for the rebuild video in high definition.